Bitcoin is the ultimate talk these days. By this time, everybody knows Bitcoin is a digital currency run by a network of people, and that can be sent from one person to another without any clearing house. It's not controlled by any issuing authority like the government or a bank. And being only nine years old, the Bitcoin is the most highly valued cryptocurrency out there in the market. The core technology behind Bitcoin is blockchain. But what is blockchain, and how does it even matter? In simple format, blockchain is the combination of math and cryptography. It's a set of blocks which contains values inside it and are chained together. Precisely, cryptography is the art of writing or solving codes. It helps in creating a particular encrypted data that can only be processed by a receiver for whom it is intended to. The converted data by an unauthorized user will be mismatched or may be presented with the encrypted format, which is totally unreadable. The modern form of technology has allowed humans to transact files of all possible formats with the help of internet and network sharing. And we also have transacted money with the help of online payment gateways. But the only thing is that there isn't any instant transaction of money that's happening as they need to be verified by a third party authority which might involve high transaction costs and requires a lot of documents to be submitted in prior to gain access to online transaction. And this is what blockchain technology is trying to solve by providing open decentralized database. The blockchain technology is going to completely change the way we have been transacting data. It has an upper hand of security by avoiding financial frauds because all the transacted data are noted on a ledger of which one copy is stored on the personal computers of every node available on the blockchain network and which means anyone having internet access can view the ledger. In fact, the ledger contains information of every transaction from the very beginning leading to a total size of 150 gigabytes of data as of Jan 2018. Okay now, this leads to the next question. How can an online database that shares its ledger stays hackproof? The answer is it's millions of users. It's like a copy of the ledger is present on all the personal computers of every node available on the Bitcoin network. So nobody can cheat on writing the data to the ledger. In fact, every block of data has a timestamp and also has a link to its previous block, which is actually maintained in a chronological order. The blocks can be viewed and added but cannot be edited and that's been made possible using cryptography. One of the major implementations of blockchain is the Bitcoin cryptocurrency, for which now leads us to the concept of Bitcoin mining. The Bitcoins that are sent from A to B are verified by Bitcoin miners by solving a series of specialized math problems. In order to decide which block should be added to the blockchain, a serious contest is held between the miners. The one who gets to the solution first will be given the privilege to add a block to the blockchain and also will be rewarded with some bitcoins. One has to solve certain math problem created by a cryptographic hash function, more specifically the SHA-256. There is no possibility to solve this problem logically, rather by a series of guesses you can solve it. You can consider it like a combination of string on which guess rightly will allow you to add the block to the blockchain. But like I said, it has to be guessed and no logical solution is available. So it totally depends on your computational power which decides the hash rate. The hash rate is nothing but the number of guesses per second. The more the computational power, the faster you will arrive at the required combination. Each Bitcoin miner is competing with all the other miners over the network to be the first one to mine. Because in exchange for validating the transaction, the Bitcoin miner is rewarded with Bitcoins of thousands of dollars worth. Believe me or not, currently the number of computers that are mining Bitcoins are over 1000 times powerful than the world's top 500 supercomputers combined. Which leads us to the conclusion of how secure the Bitcoin network is. Because for a threat to disrupt the network, they might at least need half the computational strength, which is impossible. The Bitcoin technology can be trusted so long as we know how it works and the trust of the people involved. All of the thefts in recent years have been the result of carelessness on the part of the Bitcoin owners. At least as of now, Bitcoin is experimental. It might be a good investment or it might turn out to be a bubble that can burst 
any soon. What are your thoughts on the future of Bitcoin? Do share on the comments below and also subscribe to Droid Sector for more awesome videos. Either way, thanks for watching. Yours truly Droid Sector, ask truly this life.